Okay, Mummy's Mask, here we go. Uh, right, so last session you completed your fight against the Ossumentals after activating the Sun Disc, which was uh, the, um, uh, the device that was powered by the, uh, the trenches here, the slave trenches of Hakatep, in order to bring down the Flying Pyramid that uh, you believe Hakatep is in. Um, and as the um, the Sun Disk uh, activated, destroying the remaining Ozumentals that were s around it, as you were flying around in your flying submarine boat, the, um, the beam of energy blasted off into the uh, the atmosphere and after after about half an hour obviously this um, object came into sight and as it drew near you were quite amazed by the colossal nature of this uh, thing this flying pyramid it settles down just to the south of the um, the slave trenches uh, quite a quite a, a reasonable distance away but you've got your flying submarine boat that you were able to uh, uh, use to get over there and you can see obviously at the base of this structure um, is sat in the sand and um, you can obviously see that the four sides of the pyramid are beautifully smooth but it's spiked with these electric arcing rods that, s that impale the, um, the pyramid um, every so often and um, there's a great blast of air as it settles down uh, displacing all of this sand um, as you kind of fly around it you can see that there are indeed little openings one on each side of the, um, the pyramid one of them is near the bottom one of them is um, further up one of them is further up again and one of them is more or less at the top of the pyramid uh, you decided to take the one on ground level and see was the the first one so I imagine you land a boat dispel the uh, the magic and put the boat away back into its wonderful little box that you had ready for its next adventure and uh, yeah you are heading towards the pyramid and I need to do this you get Doing it well. you oh, get okay. fairly close when your attention is drawn further up the pyramid. One of these uh, sets of stairs, you can see a figure standing. And she stands there, this, this woman. And as you look, she glances down at the four of you ready um, uh, quite a quite a, a large smile on her face uh, that's done that okay except that that's cool and as you watch her your eye is drawn 
to something quite different that moves around the pyramid and heads down towards you. These giant scorpions. Let me Great. activate this. That's good. And that. for you. Oh, no. Is that right? Has that done it? No. Um, we're loading. Oh, um, still loading. I'm going to take the opportunity to roll the initiative first. Hopefully, it'll load pretty nice and quick. Uh, vision, stream. Guys, here, yeah. Eighty-six. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Oh. I'm there. Oh, I, don't know. I don't know. Are you doing it now? Or are you doing it now? I'm fine with now. So yeah, after teleporting back uh, to Sophie's, I guess. Um, Egon would uh, give back the ones that we collected. Uh, Explain that uh, the ornamentals are well too much too much for him for him, and well he's enjoyed the party, but that's quite enough for him. And he'll introduce you within the day or two to one of his uh, fifty friends. By which uh, he means uh, this uh, curious looking fox with a dragon hiding him most of the time. Small one. Pseudo dragon. The fox himself doesn't really talk, the dragon just does the telepathy between the fox and you. So you've got a fox familiar, Mr. Dragon. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes. Outstanding one of them. I only see one of them. Any other buff there? Uh, one is empty. Oh, maybe because it's loading. Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay. That's why. So yeah, a little character change. That's correct. And so is this. So, you guys... Are still loading? <laughs> yeah, I am. Wow. <sighs> Gee, I've never known it to get stuck like this. No. On a map. Then again, we have had some pretty big maps, so maybe it's just taking a bit longer. This is, this is only the Sundis map, so... No, it's not bode it's, well. It's a big map. It's not the biggest, but it's a big one. I'll load the slave trenches one in. We'll do it on that. Yep. I just jumped to a 98. I was so expecting a, a map of Sothis so we could have a whole uh, episode of shopping, <laughs> but all right, whatever. A shopping episode. Montage. They're the best, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. 
Or maybe a beach episode where we just relax and have fun. A beach episode? What a great idea. Every anime has one. Does it? Huh. I think so. Yeah. God damn, they're big scorpions. Go. Holy damn shit. They are. I'm sure that it won't be a problem for you guys as these things will, you know. Egon can sacrifice himself for the team now that he's uh, dependable. That's how you should go out, not like a coward. Just uh, saying goodbye. Just die to the scorpions. We will remember you fondly. I did wonder whether you were going to do the old um, um, Batman thing where you, you don't. You think I, the two of your minions will slow me down very well. Oh, they are big indeed. I was going to charge, but now I think we should run the other way. <laughs> they are a good way away off. Imagine this uh, sun disk isn't there, it's just all desert. But, um, the pyramid is not in front of us then? Where did it land? May I ask you for the new characters? Did I not input... Did you send me the characters? Uh, they're... yeah, they're, I imported those, so they're completely outside of everything. Oh, right. But just the folks will do the trick for now. Okay. Probably won't use the Sutra again for a while. You're playing multiple characters? Just multiple. one, technically. Technically. There I don't go. like your technicalities. I shall. I shall delete Egon. Goodbye. You glorious. Cool. Even this dragon won't be useful for now, I suppose. He's an orc. Respect the orc. Respect the orc. Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna work on, you know. Uh, he's gonna repeatedly kill himself and reincarnate until he finds something he likes. That's not how he's gonna do it, but I'm not completely absurd. Forget to add yourselves into the initiative order when you have finally got to the page. Okay. Um. I'm gonna activate my animal focus when I see the scorpions appear. I'm in the, initi in the initiative that I'll eventually start running towards something, maybe. I'm still finishing my spells. Yeah, just need a second and I'm good. Uh, Kitawe, you're down on hit points. I sure am. Uh, did Egon have any. Yeah, he, he he did... within the like three or four days, you're definitely back to full. Oh, oh that's right. True. I forgot we've, we've rested and we've been away for days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we don't have a healer anymore. Yeah, I know. I was essential to the entire party. Hang on. Didn't Shamir heal as well? Mm. Oh? I, I, I have like 20, <laughs> eight, 20 heal point channel energy, that's terrible, but sure. <laughs> uh, uh, let me check time. my buffs. Wonderful. We would have, uh, how is it called? Um, um, Hunter's Blessing against Undead, because why the fuck wouldn't we have it? And that's pretty much it. I have. Eagle soul on me, which would have been more for inches, but let's not change it, it's fine. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I have this permanent, and that's pretty much it. Okay. You, you well, we now? have no more healing. Though. Yeah, okay. I should be good. How much is a healing potion? 50 gold, the most basic one. Right, okay, let's get going with the Crimson Archers. Do, 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 do. The what? The music. Oh. Archers and scorpions? That would have been terrible. That would be amazing. How about archers on the back of the colossal scorpions? 
I like the fact that each of these tokens, uh, like the scorpion, just threw what looks to be like a co maybe in the air. Yeah. Just, just like that. Did it hit an auroch? Something like that on the actual hour? Yeah, something along If we catch the cows, we can throw them back at the scorpions. <laughs> Wait, now that, now that we don't have Egon anymore, do we want to have some uh, wands of healing and uh, scrolls of restoration? Too late for that. Too late, we'll just have These to die. scorpions are mm -hmm. charging in. I better hope you bought some with his starting goal. I imagine that the you know, uh, you can think about that and uh, probably have taken that into consideration as uh, as um, Egon is left with the entire party's gold. <laughs> Go track it down. Hang on. With the entire party's gold and a head shorter. We have a wound of Cure Light Wound with. 37 charges left in the loot. Oh, what the... Buy one more. I'm back one more. <sighs> okay. So we start combat with Katawe. You see Anyone? these huge black armored scorpions as it moves towards you, three of them. Uh, you can see, obviously, their uh, carapaces are black as coal, and their claws in each are as long as a man's body. Okay. Check the range of my long-range spells. Uh, can anyone uh, guess what those catchers are? 150 foot. Guess what they are? Charge copies. I don't need to guess. Um, knowledge nature? Knowledge nature. I do not have Rexit. So, anyway. Is oh, the music dear. on or did it just die for everyone? No. Oh. No, it's there. Um, I, don't know, I got this seed. I will. I will bounce up. Um, and, uh, let's see, I, I guess we'll, we'll move up here. Can't really do anything until they get a bit closer, so that's my turn. Okay, that takes us to Shamir. Okay, so you said knowledge nature. Knowledge it's nature. Let's call just tie enough. There's maybe a chance. I don't have first one. I should have it. It's fine. Let's cast it after this fight. Uh, no, it's not enough. Okay, uh, because I don't know what they are. Uh, and they're a bit far away. Let's start debuffing. Uh, no, you know what? Because I probably won't have the opportunity to do this ever again in a game. I'm gonna... You know how much I love Holy Ice? Is that a rhetorical question or do you want an answer? Yeah, that, that's just... That, that's a rhetorical question. Uh, anyways, I thought I would go to the next step and use another Holy Ice technique. Which is called an Holy Ice Mammoth. What the fuck? <laughs> Well, technically, it's just a frost mammoth. Frost mammoth. A blast of snow suddenly fills an area with a space of. Yeah, it's a casting time round, so it will uh, it will immediately appear fifty in a round. <laughs> so next round. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can use a swift action if you take a cast time one round. Or not. <sighs> you can, right? It's a full round action. That's basically what round means. Yeah, but you can use you can still use a swift on top of that yeah, or so not. You can use a swift at before doing your. Uh... Okay, so I will use an inspire coach and then I will start summoning the holy ice mammoth and you.
And so I will need a Mastodon. At the beginning of your turn, yeah. Yeah. So it's a a mammoth made out of snow. Yeah, but it is a mastodon according to the rules. Okay. Don't know if the so mammoth mastodon. and mastodon. It's yeah. a mastodon that's made out of snow in the desert. Of ice. Yeah. Yeah, because it's magic and it doesn't need to make sense. The Mastodon. Mastodon. Shamir's shenanigans. <laughs> Holy ice. Mastodon. Holy ice. Mastodon. Okay, that will take us then to Colin. Skitters across the sand. That takes us to Kura. Um. Kura is going to do some weird shit, which is sort of his main trick. Um, if I move at more than half, but less than my normal. Okay. So, uh, I am going to uh, stealth. Half my speed, which will be 20 here, I'm put here. And as I do that, I'm gonna cast a. I'm gonna cast. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna cast Fire Shurikens. One of which. Actually, do we have a hunch on that? Yeah. Okay. One of which I will fire immediately, but only the one. Uh, I am within 60 feet. Uh, 55 actually. Uh, so that will be a single shot again. So is that, um, is that particular spell... Doesn't say whether it's got... It, no, it has uh, thought. I'm, say, I'm a psychic caster, so I have uh, thought emotion uh, components. So oh, there's right. no noise or anything. However, if I am ever as little as shaken, I can't cast at all. In the right. fear department. I mean, I can, but I have big penalties. So, single strike for 38 to touch. 65. Uh, dealing a total of, uh, yeah, that's what I achieved. Uh, actually, I should have started with my uh, knowledge check. Ooh. Right, what am I looking at? You are looking at a black scorpion. Okay. Um, how many questions do I get? Just a second. Uh, you get one question. Um, 
in the immunities or resistance department, please. Okay. There is only one list thing listed under immunities and resistances. Mm -hmm. It is immune to mind-affecting effects. Yeah, okay. Big deal. Oh. Is it immune trips? <laughs> With his mini legs? Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's not immune to trips. No, it just has good bonus. Feel free to uh, try and trip it if you wish. You just have to sweep seven of them at the same time. Yeah. Uh, okay. You can still roll a 20, but yeah. So I moved stealth. I'm visible because I threw a shuriken. Uh, it does all. Uh, should be done. Yeah, it should be marking this guy is dazzled for two rounds. Uh, I'm gonna extend that. And that's my job. <coughs> Why should it be dazzled for two rounds? Uh, because it's the flaring fiery shuriken, not just basic. I uh, just didn't throw it in the attack because. Foundry will catch up with Roll20 for that particular feature. I can't believe I've just said that. Anyway, uh, okay, so you got its attention. Yes, I did. This one screeches forward as it does so. Its uh, legs click, click, clicking as it does. And this one also does the same before we go to uh, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay, so you say that he's not immune to trip, right? <laughs> That's correct. I can't. That should, <laughs> should be interesting. <laughs> I okay. Um, should I try and trip it? Because I can actually. I think I can trip it. Um, but you just cut in half. That's what you normally do. Yeah, just shove this one. It's does all. He won't be. A, he, he will have penalties to attack you. You guys are low fun. Uh, hey, but... you play the game how you want to play the game. You're saying that you don't play how we want your creature. Uh, okay. I'll cast. Uh, I can cast, by the way. I'll rage. Free action. Uh, mirror image. If it fucking works. Aha! Six images. Minimum! Fear me. Okay. How far away is that? Huh? Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, activating the boots of of speed is a free action, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'll activate that as a free action. And uh, he pounds. And I pounce his ass. You, you have to charge to the closest point, so it's here. It's here is the closest point. Um, I, I think the issue is that Scorpion have plain things, so your mirror image is probably going to be useless. In, that would incur in second opportunity. 
for. Oh no, they have three more sense, not the same thing. I mean, usual scorpions know this one, I don't know what these ones are. Warn? Yep, I'm in here. I'm waiting on you. Okay, uh, that'll be a 38 to hit. Sure, Ooh. roll a d7. Um, one as the... Uh... One is me, the rest is... Continue. You lose a thing, by the way. I wanted to make sure, okay. Uh, and uh, now it's my turn to hit it. Suck on these. <laughs> right, okay. So a, a 33 will hit. That deals that, that deals that. That will confirm. That deals that. Okay. One's dead. So I start running at it. <laughs> and I jump. And by the time that I actually hit it, I'm actually halfway through it, go through the other side. Can we That's mute my turn. him now? And... Katawe, over to you. <laughs> right, um, okay. I don't want to be embarrassed by my colleague's performance, so I'm going to charge in as well. Alright. <laughs> uh, of course, I will take an attack. attack of opportunity. Is or that against one? the cat or me? I don't know. Roll me a D2. One is uh, okay. the rider, two is the cat. It's on Katawi. Uh, that will be a 27 to hit. That now misses. Thankfully for our little trip and stop off in Celsius. Right. Um, let's see. Uh, swift action. Great to bait on vermin. I think that's a pretty easy one. If it's something different, I don't know that anyway. Um, oh, it's not evil though, is it? Because it's an animal or a vermin, whatever. Uh, but that applies. I've got so many boxes to tick, and I'll tick on my tag now. That looks okay. That will hit. Okay. Uh, and of course the cat is doing his thing. Right. This has got some good numbers. Oh, is that the menacing thing coming in maybe? Yeah. Alright, both of those will hit. And then I will rake. Natural one for 33, does that hit? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, it would auto miss. With a natural one. Well, yes, but you know. A little the barbarian will make fun of me. <laughs> oh, it's still alive. It's still alive. Oh, you that sucks. Suck. <laughs> you can hear from the other side of the battle. I do apologize. Maybe, maybe Shamir can kill steal it for you. As we go to Shamir. Okay, so I can summon my mammoth at a distance of oh, 60 God. feet. <laughs> so I need you to bring him uh, starting here, so I can bring him in this square, basically. I can you give me the permission to, to, to view it? Uh, and to actually use it, but yeah, please. And I don't know how it's, oops, if it interacts with mine. Because it would be affected by inspire, my inspire courage as well. Figure ownership. Owner. Oh, that's how it works. Here's your filthy mammoth. Was it me? In the desert. Okay. Uh, 
So I can summon him at a distance of 60 feet from me, which means I can start here. Okay. Well, not exactly because that's on top of the cat. No. I think you're bent, but sure. Uh, okay, uh, is it affected? Can I see if it has inspired power on him? Um, Vaughn, can you give me access to the mammoth? That way I can make sure that he, it works correctly. Thanks. Okay, now it seems to work. Yep, okay. it's in. Still done. I should have opened the shit a bit earlier. Okay, so basically, he gets, he gets a gore and a slam and a trample. No, or a trample. It's, uh, it's something else, but yeah. So he's just gonna do the full attack. Uh, without power attack. Okay. 28 to hit, 21 damage. That will miss. Okay. Okay, that missed as well, I guess. Uh, now, because it is my turn, actually. Because that's a full round, so I get a full round now. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'll just support that. Wait, no, it's not. It doesn't work. It's, uh, let's fight on this one. Uh, yeah. 27 to hit against touch. There's no one in the, the mammoth is in melee, so 23 against touch should steal it. So. Oof, just slightly. It has <laughs> touch of what? 8? 2. 25 points <laughs> of <Ooh>. damage. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's a, it's a gargantuan creature? Yeah, true. But still, you'd expect that they have some refle some. Uh, Okay. Is that Shmir done? Yes, I'm done. You have dealt mighty 25 damage. I am proud of you, brother Shamir. Okay, Kura. And if you if you add up all of the damage I do with my inspire card on you. But yeah. Okay. I believe I can fly. Uh, okay, so I'll stealth uh, again. So uh, once within ten feet of movement. Uh, actually, no. It will be the full. So forget. <coughs> I'll stealth just once, uh, and I will throw. A mighty shuriken as a swift action. Okay. I'm gonna assume that it hits. Uh, and so that's a swift action, and as a standard action, I will. No, I won't do anything, that's fine. I'll just double move and hide again. Okay, the stealth okay. check off. 43. I assume we're in the middle of the day right now, so bright light. Bright light. Okay. Uh, the scorpion to the north is gonna lash out at Which one in particular? Uh, it is going to attempt to 
come in with the claws against Katawe. Mm -hmm. And we'll miss with both of those. The sting attack will come in against the cat. Uh, 41. That hits. That will deal 20 points of piercing damage. And I'll take a fortitude save. Please. Three, two. That will be a fail. Okay. The second sting attack, of which the Black Scorpion has a rapid stinging, will come out to out towards Kitawe with a 33. Uh, that hits. We'll deal 18 points of damage, and I would like a 40 save. While I roll some stuff. Probably okay. 37. take three points of strength, oh two dear. points, uh, sorry, four points of dex, and two points of con. What? Three, four, and a two. Three, four, and a two. Adds up to nine. Okay. Uh, yes, they do. So the frequency is across six Three successful saves. <clears throat> Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's the it's uh, Mekai who is hit by that. Yeah. Uh, the cat Mekai. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Only if we had a Masus. Take care of them. <laughs> the second scorpion will move towards Jack. Oh, he does actually to come closer. Sorry? He actually dares to come closer, how brave of him. No, I'm slightly scared that I'm gonna be a... No, I'm too scared. I hope. Uh, 30 to hit. Oh, uh, that hit. One hit, okay. That's one hit. That's two hits. One of the claws misses, the other one will hit. So uh, if you hit against, if you, um, so actually you uh, need yeah. to slay 25 or more, actually. What? Because mirror image. If you miss by five or less, you oh, right, okay. blow a mirror. Right, okay. So, so the first 25. one, uh, 1d6, that will be two. So that will break a mirror image. Uh, the second sting attack will hit you. You rolled a one? I rolled a one. That will deal 23 points of damage, and I will take a fortitude save from Barbarian, the Raging Death Machine. Give me a second to see. That should be... you said 23? 23 points of damage. What does it say? And the fortitude? Yep. 29. I rolled the 2. Okay. Um, you will lose one image with a 25. Uh, 25 to hit. Yeah. And we'll break an image, so you're down to four. Yeah. Uh, three images, and final one is a one. So that will deal 26 points of damage. And does a 53 grapple you? Yeah. Grapple condition to your token. Uh, 
as it squeezes and uh, you can do its constrict straight away, can I? Uh, constrict is on any successful grapple check. Well, 30 actually missed, but... Because I don't have any, I get plus one from haste. That's fine. Well, this uh, the attack that that uh, instigated the grapple was a thirty-eight to hit. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm saying that one of them misses. Yeah, that's fine. The first one. Thirty to hit. Right. Yeah. Well, that still breaks an image, so it's no. Yeah. It's no big deal. Uh, okay. Uh, that will be 22 points of construction damage as it grinds its pincers together with you in between. Sure. I guess that takes us to Jack. So it, I'm not close to it, but it is grappling me, right? Yeah, so you automatically teleport it to adjacent to it. Oh. All right. That's how grapple works. So, since I don't have to get closer anymore. What's your weapon? It's a falcon. Is it a two-handed weapon? Uh, oh, sure, yeah. Two-handed, martial. Then you can't use it. As a, when you're grappled, you can only use one-handed weapon. Oh no, Jack, you suck. Alright. <laughs> Let the scorpion eat them. Uh, sure, I'll punch it, I guess. Throw your spear. Wait, really? <laughs> oh no, you're betrayed. I mean, yeah, he can punch it. It's not that big a deal. Wait, wait, wait. I actually have claws. Falchion is a 200, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The damage, okay. Beast totem, first time I'm using this. Where is it? <laughs> so, I automatically gain two claw attacks. These attacks are considered primary attacks and are made at the Barbarian's full base attack bonus. You would need to drop your falchion. I'll let it go and murder it. Uh, let me just update your attacks. Uh, they are 1d8. 1d8? Okay. Yes. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, your unarmed 1d8 plus strength, and you get two of those no, yeah. without any penalty here. Yeah. No, one here, thank you very much. Okay, uh, this should work correctly, so go ahead. How many attacks do I have now? Because I have two claws. Uh, yep, yeah, two attacks. Close means uh, natural attacks, you only get one pair attack, even if you have a huge base attack bonus. So it doesn't use the base attack bonus? It uses it, but it, it does for those single attacks. attacks. Yeah. It's not iterative. Right now you have plus 26, plus 26. You don't have plus 26, plus 29, plus 16. Oh, I see. So, and haste? Haste would add another claw attack. Mm -hmm. So I get three attacks? If you use your boots, yes. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use uh, Raging Brutality and add uh, how much? Uh, plus 10 damage to my attacks. Plus 10. Yes, I add my Constitution modifier. No, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Now pray I don't roll a 20. Uh, where do I add damage bonus modifier, right? I just add plus 10 there. Uh, yeah. A 20. Now, the funny thing is the claws are multiplied by three times. Oh, the three times? Yeah. Uh, that didn't tell me that. I'd be surprised if it matters. Yeah. 28 will miss. 
So 43A. Uh, yep, 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 hold that thought. Uh, the claws don't actually crit. Because it's a 19 and they only, claw, uh, they only crit on the 20. They are not keen. Why did you make them? I didn't, I, I copied your arm strike, which for some reason had 15. Okay. Fine. Uh, so 43 points of damage on the second one, and the third and one. 45. Would miss. Yep. Okay. That will take us back to the top, Katawi. Even he didn't even kill it. Oh, just just let the scorpion eat him, guys. It's fine. Says the guy with the weapon. Yeah, because I didn't drop it. By the fingers. I would have dropped it. Actually, I should have thrown <laughs> it at him. Uh, okay, bite for Macare for a 33. When do I do the uh, fortitude saves? Is that on my turn or its turn? It's turn. Uh, it's turn. And two claws. Um, that will take that to that, so that will do that. Uh, the second claw, uh, sorry, the first claw attack will uh, will drop it. Okay, then I will attempt to kill steel. <laughs> Flat strike got it. Uh, and a DC 21 reflex save for it. Giant colossal creatures notorious for their uh, ability. Uh, technically, Jack would also need to roll for that. Oh, really? I've... Well, isn't it the same as, as you being in every square of your... I... Don't, uh, I suppose, no, it's logically. Not. But then, doesn't it, doesn't it just move you to like a square adjacent to it? It doesn't actually move you into its within its square, does it? No, I don't know. Because I could like put it theoretically, I could put it on the other side and burn a lot of the scorpion. I don't know. Up to you. You're the GM. Uh, Fifty-one points of damage. Okay. That's fine. Shamir. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, as they said, it's mammoth in time. 29, maybe that would be it. So, uh, grapple, so it takes... The correct yeah. term is, it's time for mammoth. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> does 29 eat a grapple scorpion? Because they take a penalty to AC if they do that usually. Uh, that will hit the uh, grappled scorpion. Okay, and will that slam the grappled scorpion? Okay. Is it still alive? Yeah. Okay, uh, well. I guess it's time to charge. If he can make an attack opportunity while dropping, probably can't. Because you need a special roll to be able to do that. But some creature have it, I don't think this one has it. Okay, so now the cool thing is that uh, since Sony is in there, I don't have anything. Since uh, I don't have anything for poison, so get good, I guess. We'll need some uh, forty two right. saves for the uh, for the cat. Wait, you, you broke the initiative. Uh, do I before or after the cat? After make after. Uh... Will be before because oh, I've just gone. I have before. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what is gonna happen is that in both your mind and 
and the cat's mind you will both hear come to me. Okay. Um, I have ready action, which will be to cast a spell. All right. I think I have to make a save before that happens. Then. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, you have to make one. Okay. Is first save before that happens. Before he gets to him, will be a, oh dear another twenty-two. That's a fail. I know that already. Is a fail. More attribute damage. Indeed. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, three strength. Four dex. One con. Gura's spell would go off at that point. Yeah, so at this point, uh, actually, do need to keep it even closer. Um, I will cast a spell, and you will hear in your. The cat will hear in his mind, just trust me for this one. So I will ask you, you're free to disagree, but I will ask you to voluntarily fail the incoming will save. Okay. Is it a harmful spell? You have... Roll a spellcraft if you want, otherwise you have no way to know. Guys, we need, might need to kill the fox. <laughs> I don't even know what that thing is. I, I, oh. No, I, I don't even have ranks in that. Just go ahead. I'll okay. pick up my phone. We'll see what happens. Okay, so what happens is... Uh, I can. I will touch the cat, uh, the big, big, much bigger cat actually, uh, and it is now affected it, by it Hermian potential. Uh, that means that for the next uh, four, I believe, yeah, four uh, rolls within 17 minutes, uh, you get to roll twice and take the more favorable result. Well, that is handy. Um. Okay. So I'll take another set of rolls then. Oh, they both pass Do they both pass? I don't know what the DC is. Yeah, but, but you, on, on, with, your... because of your mental you have to hold twice every time. Okay, that's your second uh, save. that's number two. Oh dear. Oh dear. That will be a failure. I need three in a row, right? Yeah. So do I take more in a row? damage? I, I think you only need three successes, three not, not in a row. Oh, so it's not three consecutive saves, then it's not the same. Three saves. We're oh, okay, so... It adds a bit of a suspense to it, that's all. <laughs> that would, I think I would die of the ability to score damage in the meantime. Okay. So two, I'm... Two strength. Okay, right. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, three dex. One con. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ, you're rolling really well, huh? And four con. Jesus. Yeah, he's rolling extremely well. I'm not rolling really well on anything else. <laughs> okay, one more save to cure. And that's your last term and potential. potential. It's a Jesus. definite pass. Holy shit! Great. How much longer do you have until you die? Uh, the, the cat stats are pretty beastly, so we're actually okay. Uh, on a scale good. from... But uh, this is a lot of damage to recover from. Yeah, One that's the thing. Strength. Four decks. Only four? Yeah. Give me more, you wuss. And. <laughs> One con. The long con, okay. And my final save, because this will succeed, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Ignore that one. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can't actually use that one. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Right. Now, oh my god, he's like, HP's guy half. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Okay, time to use some lesser restorations. Like, all of them. Oh boy, okay. Uh, lesser restoration on the cat's con, I guess, first. Oh, fuck. Don't you I'm never going to heal him with these rolls. 
Okay, let's try again. Um, again on the cat's con. Do you actually have no normal restoration? No. Well, how many spell slots do you have? Not enough to kill myself. I've got 15 deck damage. 15. Oh my god. Um, okay, now I will use one on decks. That's better. A few more like that would be lovely. Uh, one more on decks. Shit. Well, now that's only 10 decks damage. That's not bad, is it? So what you um, and nine, the last nine strength damage, ten dex damage, and three con damage. Three, and I'll tell you in a sec. Six. That's not too bad. Okay. So I've got three strength damage, ten dex damage, three con damage. <laughs> that's only minus five AC. <laughs> that reflex. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Katawi. Oh, I suppose 94. 20, 20 points down. I'll use a couple of cube moderates. One on. Oh, shit, no, I don't have any left. Um. I guess I could use that. Katawi will heal himself. Close in that. Okay. Oh, right. Fully healed. Uh. Wait, Loka? Yes? Can you channel? Um, uh, I guess. How much do you heal with the channel? Uh, uh, I'm still level 14 for channel, so. About that much? No, not that. I'm going to have back a charge. That's a weird charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I hear about that. I'm going to assume at this point that Manny is probably gone. Yeah, it's the Hunt spell event, so. Yeah. He melts probably melt. into the sand. He actually did more than I thought he would do. And they had very low expectations. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, back to Sothis. Just a couple of days. I'll be fine. <laughs> you look back towards the pyramid. This... This woman looks down at you. She's clad in a brilliant white tunic and wears an ancient ceremonial wig on her head. An exquisite golden pectoral collar around her neck. Her eyes are made up with coal, and a knowing smile plays on her painted turquoise lips. In a fluid motion, she stretches out her arms and looks up to the sky, speaking loudly in a clear voice. These are the words of Hakatep I. Lord of the Sands, Scourge of the Shori, most beloved son of Set, glorious and eternal Sky Pharaoh of Assyrian. Let all who would grow wise fall silent and listen. How far is that? Person. Uh, she's sort of halfway up the uh, side of the pyramid. You're kind of at the bottom. Okay. Casting lesser restoration. Right? <laughs> I'm just using some of my third level slots to transfer into second level spells now. And she just my... Rejoice, faithful of Osirian. Your god and pharaoh has returned. Land. 
Jesus and his people with strength and wisdom to return the kingdom to the glory lost by his unworthy successors. Is it you who call down the pyramid? Who dare impede the sky pharaoh in his divine undertaking? Who would stand? I, a servant of Sobek, stand against him. I don't think your guy is a god, but sure, if you think like it. Yeah. I didn't say I was a god. No, I mean, uh, the Darling fell. I think we have a 15 7 if No, it is not a god. I, I think she wants to know who we are. I'll shout back, who are you to speak for him? She... She addresses you. I am... Ayn Mech. I am the... Who is she? Herald of Arkhateb. else is it? Hakotep is no god. He has no right to uh, summon his in undead and torment the people of Assyrian. His time is over. To be fair, this song has been sang for like how many months now? If he's so strong, why doesn't he go to Absalom and pass the uh, Starstone thing? Yeah. Because he's a coel. Here we go. If you, wish, if you wish to meet he who wields the crook and flails of king, you must demonstrate your worthiness by traversing the fourfold path. Walk on the wind. Breathe in the water. Swim through the soil. And dance in the fire. Only those tested may come into the divine presence of the most beloved son of Set. There are four entrances, one in each face of the pyramid. Choose wisely. Perhaps, mortals, we shall meet again. Um, we just fought these giant scorpions. Is that not good enough? She vanishes. Oh, I don't think it is. Can we choose the fire entrance, please? The only thing this that you is the own voice at this point. I it's pointless to talk right now. What? Uh... Do the entrances give any clue as to which they are? Or would we have to kind of guess which it is? Or do they like have symbols of the elements or anything? They probably have, but we sort of selected which one we were going to do last week. So uh, I guess we not, rolled, which, which implies not, it's random, but... Uh, yeah, we, if, let's if we can. <laughs> it, is, it is as random as that I may have predestined it by starting the map anyway but that one looks safe let's go in there yes yeah this one looks definitely safe let's go <laughs> so the one that is it's on also the, the closest to us the one that is the closest to you is the one that is at ground level um obviously you do, you've you've done enough cardio for today uh, you don't want to start you know marching up all those steps um the entrance of this um You can see that there are. Oh, where is it? There. Uh, 
At the base of the Great Pyramid's southern face, a dark stone block the size of a large door. Carved into its surface is an, at eye level, is some hieroglyphs surrounding an irregular blob-shaped design in putrid green. Tell you what I'll do. I will just double check that we've got walls. <laughs> Which we have. Which is great. And I will activate the map for you. And probably a good idea if we add some tokens. No, we don't need that. Put that one. And guitar one. Uh, you, you don't need, um, however, I named the the dragon. He's okay. Ooh. And Shamir, where's Shamir gone? We don't need the dragon thing. Yeah, that's okay. It's basically only utility. Gives off a magical aura. It appears to be a strong abjuration, conjuration magic. You guys all read ancient Assyriani, don't you? Uh, um, maybe Jack. I'm doesn't. not. Yep. Yeah, I think we do actually. Yep. Okay. It, the ancient Usiriani hieroglyphs on the front states the following. Slake the first of the one honored by this water crypt. Slake? Slake. I'll paste it in the thing and then you know. Oh, slick, okay. S slake. As in Slake as in Slake your thirst. As in a, a so. lake, with, but with an Don't S word. in front. I have no idea what that means. Uh, it means satisfy. <clears throat> yeah. Romeo, knowledge, planes, or religion? I'm good at one of those. I'm going to. Oh, wait, no, wait. Okay. No, it's Which just waiting that bell. Symbol is this asymmetrical green blob is a symbol of a legendary Pixodemon. Pixo, pix, pisco, pisco demon. Pisco demon named. Yeah, I'll be summoning them later. Get used to them. Yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Aluash Imna. That's his name. Identity is that a god? No, it's a pic pis pisco demon. Oh, okay. There we go. Who? Have a name. Aluashimna. And he was a servant of Hakotep? Is that the story? You're not sure. Um, but you're. Slake the Thirst. Tell me another, either planes or religion. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So would you know that in um, slaking the thirst of a demon requires a bathing the carved symbol either in unholy water or blood? Oh, okay. See, we had someone who was good at uh, using mo monster trophies and stuff. What happened to that guy? Had a heart attack. Had to retire. Mental inj uh, 
You get a mental uh, word from uh, uh, the uh, pseudo dragon who tells you, I heard he couldn't just go on living with you anywhere close. We we felt the same way, but uh, we did have <laughs> Uh, okay, understanding this, I will uh, do something that really I should have done earlier anyway, uh, which is cast, cast false life on me and uh, just like uh, hit myself, uh, like bite myself. Which oh no no, let me. Oh, okay. You, you... Oh, you you cut him in half. Yeah, I was about to say no no, you go there, let me hit you. Okay. First, uncouple yourself. Because you're not coupled anymore. Uh, um, still a fall ways. And yeah, I'll just like bite myself for. I don't know how much. It might need a lot of blood. Do we. Oh, yeah, I guess I we could try. A lot of blood, so. No, that's what I'm saying. We might need to bring back something and slaughter it. Yeah. I guess we'll try it. We can grab the nearest body of a. of a scorpion and just. We'll just try with a little bit of blood and see what happens. Hello, Ashimna. Right, okay. Get my head around this change of character. The fox bites itself and then attempts to jump up. I imagine Jack uh, might help as he uh, kind of uh, smears. Uh, uh, I have a hole on flight, I'm flying all the time. Right, okay. If you smear blood over the uh, um, mark or whatever, the mark of whatever it is, of this uh, pixo pisco demon, um, and there is a burst of magical energy as you do this. The stone block that blocks the way begins to melt. It goes over the space of a minute and will, um, yeah. However, as you, you watch this stone begin to <clears throat> melt, the floor begins to shift and undulate and you you feel your feet beginning to sink a little bit as these the floor kind of turns a little bit muddy. I guess we'll ourselves in. into the initiative order. Oh god damn it. Can I just move so I'm not on his square, or should he move it? So I don't. No, because he's going to lash out at you in his surprise round. That mean he's a swarm? He's, he's not a swarm, but he's going to attempt to. How is he occupying my square? He's bigger than your white twice for size. Yeah, oh, but right. it's yeah. With, yeah, it's fine if it's. Where is it? Not the gun. I don't like being this close unless someone's bought me a drink, though. <laughs> So these things lurch Ow. up out of the ground um, and they will slam at their nearest target. So the one for Katawe in his surprise round will hit out with a 38 to hit mm -hmm. for 19 points of bludgeoning damage. One in the middle will do the same for Shamir. Will the 34 hit? Um, if we're flat footed, yes. Okay. Uh, 21 points of damage. What kind of damage? Bludgeoning. Okay. And 38 to hit whatever thing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a hit. It's a hit. Uh, for 23 points of bludgeoning and damage. Good. We 
start combat with Hugh Kura having first search. Uh, okay. Um, I don't think we have any light in this map. Can you not see? Uh, I, I, I can because I have dark vision, but everything is black and white, so I suspect we are in yeah. No light scenario. Uh, okay, what kind of things are those? Uh, for knowledge purposes. Uh, they're muddy boys, so yeah, I'll take uh, knowledge planes. Planes, please. You would know that these are mud elementals. Mm, I have no idea what they do. Um, Elemental, okay. Uh, anything in the land of immunities and uh, uh, energy resistances. You would get two questions with that. Uh, elemental traits being the uh, the obvious one, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Resistances and immunities, you asked, sorry. Um, yeah, energy resistances and immunities are okay, the yeah. things I'm interested uh, in. So yeah, elemental traits, uh, they're also immune to acid. Okay. Those are the only things listed. Um, elementals, I don't get sneak attack, which is a shame. Okay. Uh, I'm going to close off for comfort. I am going to use my ability to. Why isn't it listed here? Uh, my ability to. Because it's like this. To turn myself invisible as a free action a few times a day. It's, it's my courage wouldn't be on either, would it? Obviously. Uh, so I am fully invisible. I will step five foot step back and uh, okay. Um, time to bring a big guns, I guess. Um, actually, I can fully move. I don't want to do a second step. Um, Twenty. Uh, and I will throw a battering blast. Uh, I get four of those. Four? Might be a mistake. Five caster events. Beyond five. Okay, so I have a mistake. It should be on level three. Oh, first. Um, there will be two on this guy and one, and the third one on this guy. And ignore the first one and gonna fix that in a second. Okay, so the first one on that guy. The first one will miss because natural one. The second one 32 against touch against this guy. Yeah, okay. Okay, with a 42 ball rush it. No. Damage. Uh, okay, uh, the third one natural 20, so we'll have 36 confirm against touch. Yes, I fucking hope so. Uh, so that's 36 points of damage and with a 46 ball rush. 46. Uh, yes, it will. So it's pushed 5 feet in near a. Yeah, into a clay. And that's my turn. Okay, that will take us to Qatar way. Um, the cat is gonna fuff a step. And. Uh, help Katari out with it as a free action, which he does. Why can't I move Katari? Right now. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we attack. Katari 
knows an elemental when he sees it, so he's going to Great Bane. Let me mark off a use of that. Uh, oh shit. No, I can't do that this turn. I've got to put my animal focus on first, which is also a swift action. So no Bane this turn. Uh, but I will power attack. Okay. Right. Well, that's a thing. Yeah. The crits make uh, the cat bite it for free. If he doesn't die. The crits make it cat bite it for free. Yeah. Well, that's an attack of opportunity. I don't know how tanky these guys are going to be. Uh, well, it's still alive, so... Okay. So, that's the cat's free bite. Okay. Then his regular bite. Okay, I'll stop there. Alright. My turn. Thank you. That'll take us to Shamir. Okay, swift actions by your courage. And uh, full round action attack. Even if it's not going to be really great because it's an elemental. Yep, it's an elemental. <laughs> doesn't from my it's going to be scorching. It's fine. Okay. okay. That will take us to Jack. Yay. I need you. Are you surprised yet? Uh, I'm always surprised. Never disappointed, always surprised. Our age and uh, mother. Thirty. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, is that? Hey. Who sounds surprised? He doesn't even answer me anymore, he's like, fuck this shit, I'll just move <laughs> on. <laughs> uh, this one will move... Uh, was your greater invisibility, or...? It's greater, but only for one at a time. Okay, well, it's gonna move over here and hit out towards Shamir, then. And... Uh, attack... Uh, 38 to hit. It's... Dealing 23 points of bludgeoning damage. The second hit will hit and deal a further 18 points of bludgeoning damage. And that will take us back round to Kura. Yeah, so this ability makes me visible again at the beginning of my turn. Um, which still means I can get a flat footed touch attack against the thing, but I hope this is pretty important. Um, I'll just hit you an action if the thing comes in my direction. Alright. That'll oh. take us to Katawe. Um, I think the cat's been through enough. Uh, Katawi himself is going to charge. Uh, which I could do. I s expect it will... Oh! is the, You said the sand was going all funny. Is it uh, difficult terrain? Otherwise I can't charge that far. No, that's... It's just because these guys were borrowed. Oh, okay. I will Great to Bane this time. I'm pretty sure it's some sort of elemental, so I'll do that. And then that, and then I will. Yeah. 
So you charge in, the elemental will lash out at you. Does a 27 confirm? No. Okay. It slams you for 17 points of damage before you hit it with your falchion, dealing some damage to it. Okay. All right. That'll take us then to Shamir. Okay, yeah. Um, are elemental is immune to little damage? No. Okay, then my first attack will be non-lethal because fuck it, I need to regenerate some HP. Uh, I need to fix it because it says twice I'm gonna take the first one. So the first one will hit with a 47 and I will regenerate 5 hit points. Takes 32 points of damage, 24 will miss, 21 will miss. Okay. And that will take us to Jack. How hurt does it look? It's made out of mud. How are you gonna tell? How many chunks of mud is it missing? I don't know. I mean, you wanted to quantify it in mods, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just let me think of a suitable quantity of mud. Uh, it looks like semi hurt mud. What do you want? Yeah, yeah. semi hurt. alright. There's that's, probably uh, that's, uh, there's a good number of egg cups of mud missing that are splattered around the place now. Egg cups. Of this. At least one cup. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll jump its ass to see if I can... It's pretty huge. I'll make it shorter in a piece. But it's lost uh, 70 litres of mud. All in egg cups. And that ends this combat. Okay, you right back two minutes. Is this the entrance or is that where we came in? I'm kind of... Just, just, just chill. Just chill. Just, just chill. I'm chill. chill. I'm just trying to orientate myself. I, Relax. I, I know it's good. What? <laughs> relax, I said. I I <laughs> try and relax the barbarian. You are relaxed, the barbarian. Oh shit! That would just make him angry. I don't do that. I start raging brutally. <laughs> <laughs> I I hate you. <laughs> oh, the, we picked the water one. We've got oh, the water. Oh, it's on top of the hill. Oh, nice. That's great. Yeah, you, you pick you pick the water level. Should I oh, do I use Macare or not? I don't know. In the water. I think I need him. No, I mean I could have ignored all his damage, saved my spell slots, and just put it back into the figurine. Till we rested, but uh whatever, it's done now. I'm ending the session here. We can't use this map. No. Okay. Well, I want to find the duck. But, yeah, I also want to find the duck. That's the most important part here. Oh, Shamir's channeling twice. Oh. Why? I don't know. Do people get scared? Oh, no, right. just take it. That's easily enough to heal with me and my cap. You step out of the heat of the day into this cool area. And the gentle sound of water is lapping on stone echoes, issuing from a wide canal that heads north into the pyramid's interior. Torches line the canal walls here, their fitful illumination dancing across the surface of the water. Hmm. Um, I, I have a question. 
question. Uh, what um, what is the lighting condition here? Is it bright, normal, dim? It's normal. Normal. Okay. Thanks. You make your way through into this corridor, and you can kind of look down into the uh, the water here. It appears to be quite deep. In certain places, shadows appear far deeper than the areas next to it, especially this corner here where it looks quite dark and dismal. This, this, this one here. And as you peer down into the water, your, your attention is drawn as a Osiriani funeral barge appears in the canal and begins to head down the length of the dock area. A second one joins it. At the helm, pushing along with a long pole, stands a cloaked figure. Their dark robes uh, hiding their um, bony fingers. They come to a stop about 10 feet from the southern edge of the canal here, and each pilot holds out a gaunt hand, and in union they speak in a Syriani the word toll. Um, you with that knowledge check for a second. Oh, it's going to be planes, isn't it? Maybe. Don't know. I had a character. I have a very good idea. So you're... Your knowledge check would identify these as a Thana demon. They're a rattle with each stride. This looming horned skeletal figure clutches a wicked staff. A seething glow burns in its eye sockets. You do get a question. A question. Damn it. Uh, okay. Um. I mean, it's gonna always be the same uh, immunities uh, and energy resistances. Immunities and resistances, yeah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Immunities, they are immune to acid, death effects, DV, disease, poison. They also add resistances to cold, electricity, and fire. Uh, what kind of ritual are they already? That's a lot. Okay. So demon. I will... That kind of demon. Okay. Okay. I I will just uh, that's that's my stealth check. Uh, I will just so it's a uh, fifty-five, forty-five, uh, forty-five. That's a sixty-one, actually, and I will just slowly drift past them. The one nearest to you watches you as you walk by. He can see me when stealthed? Yeah. Okay. But he doesn't attack. He does not. 
Are you here to take us to Hakatep? I ask them. You don't get an answer. You get the same passive look. Hey, oi, get out of water. No, no, let I'm him... in the water. I'm just hovering just above the water. He's right. washed away. Oh, sure. no. I hope the apple eats it. you. Um, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to put the uh, my cat back into the figure and then put it away for now. All right. The figure Please. look. The other figure looks towards Katawi and repeats the same word. Told. Told. As in payment. Oh. Um. I have gold. What, what, what is your price, ferryman? You would get a, a, a mental uh, message. Yeah. Uh, which is they don't actually seem to care if we just bypass them, so if you don't want, we probably can just ignore them. I think we should go with them. They seem pretty legit. <laughs> pretty legit. They seem to have years of experience. They seem like nice people. I trust yeah. them completely. What if they? What if they only deal in? souls would you sacrifice and are we also all strong swimmers is a fair question at this point it is a fair question i mean depends how long <laughs> a few hours nope yes you you don't really get any kind of impression about how much it's going to cost you or what the toll should be Okay, I'm going to walk over and hold out a gold coin and see how he reacts to that. He looks at it in very passively. He holds out his hand. I'll give him the gold piece. His hand remains steady in front of him. Oh. Put the gold in his hand. He still says toll. If I remember correctly, this guy is like souls and not gold. And they're demons, so I mean, would, demons, so yeah. Would you take us in if we gave you the fox? <laughs> it looks over to where the fox is, hovering slightly over the as the shadow grows beneath it. Hey, 23 on damage on an acid splash? What the hell? Sneak attack. I was about to say he works in mysterious ways. The book specifically says they don't say anything other than toll. Their vocabulary is extremely limited. They make, they make no... Um, they make no... They, res they don't respond to anything, and if you wish to go past them, they make no movement to, to stop you. Getting obviously to the end of here, you can see that you are looking left or right. Ahead of you there is a statue on a small platform to the north. Um, where 
is the description. The statue opposite is made of black basalt and it is seven feet tall and depicts some kind of frog-headed humanoid. It has a trident in one hand and an upside down ankh in the other. Can we make some kind of check to know what it is? Knowledge planes? I do not have points in that. Well, lucky for you, I do. You would be able to identify this character as an Hydro Demon. I guess. Hear this mental voice, uh, a bit cheeky on the side, you know, the usual. Uh, since you guys can't scream at all, you're useless. Just close your eyes and press the fox, which is definitely not gonna do something weird to you. I feel like eating fox tonight. <laughs> I don't well, know fine. why. Fine, you don't get my blessing then. Uh. Terry, do you trust me enough to forgo this save? I mean, he's um, <laughs> been you for so many years. Why wouldn't he? Uh, this this strange coyote that's been following us from because someone dropped a piece of meat in its office, and suddenly now we're just expected to trust it. It's very strange. I know, right? um, but, sure, what the hell? What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> trust a weird rabid dog you found in the alleyway. <laughs> I don't know, let it look after my baby, sure. Go go for it. Well, you are now affected by the spell called Slipstream. You effectively have a swim speed of 20 feet for close to three hours. Yeah. Um, even though I'm wearing sort of heavy-ish armor, it's uh, still... Uh, you're probably slowed uh, okay. to 15 feet with that. Okay. I will sort of test this out and sort of slip into the water, Vaughn. Without jumping in, because I don't want to sink to the bottom. Just sort of test the depth. Cannonball! No. Right, okay. Exactly the opposite. I'm sort of <laughs> lowering myself into it and trying to touch the, the bottom. You get the impression that this is Barry White levels of deep. Wow. That's really deep. <laughs> I love the analogy, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um, that doesn't... That just gives you swim speed, doesn't give you water breathing, does it? No, just the swim speed. Okay. Um. You want to I, I don't want. I don't really want to test the jumps anyway. Says a weird voice in your head. Sorry, what? No, I was saying. Do you want that blessing too? I said to the other two here. Mentally. Yeah, sure. Oh, I think we can trust the fox. Betray all time. <laughs> yeah, Nikon sure. Always knew it had such interesting animal friends. I never wanted to ask why. <laughs> yeah, you both get it as well. <laughs> are you are you just a little bit curious to see whether or not it was actually Egon who died and he's been resurrected as some kind of fox? No. All oh, right. Okay. I, I saw them in the same <laughs> I room. I thought that was fun, but you know, whatever. <laughs> he does. No. Nobody. nobody cares anymore. He's it is I. Everybody. Let that reincarnation spell again. Always lets you know. The... The canal branches at this point. Left and right. Looking towards the left, you can see that it branches again. North and south. Whereas to the... The right, it carries on a little ways before 
can see maybe a uh, a statue over there somewhere maybe which way would is you like to same, go is this the same frogman maybe yes Hawk says, left for one. I mean, why don't we follow the frogman? Yeah, the frogman. Yeah. Well, I thought the statue was the frogman. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one here. Oh. Alright, oh, so I see. Okay. I'm fine with that. The worst that can happen is we literally meet the frogman, so. Uh, I'm gonna keep a check on traps. So, 43. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Turns out Makir has plus 20 to swim, but whatever. <laughs> How do you have plus 20? Well, being a crocodile. It's an alligator, yeah, literally. Yeah. The passageway breaks to the north and the south at this point. Which way would you like to go? Follow the frogman. Uh, I okay. I was gonna vote south, but it seems everyone's <laughs> that's with that's that. fine. What is he well? Follow the crowd. Nothing ever bad happens if you do that. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's that? Is that? Do my eyes deceive me? I'm oh yes, they do. I thought that it was just a torch. <laughs> it was a duck. <laughs> oh, that's. I got really excited. I was like, oh. You've, you've become paranoid. It's my fault for zooming out too far. Okay. Zooming out too far. Nope. Oh, Losing the... all the detail of this beautiful map. We are stone now. Do I have light? I'm going to cast light if I have it. I have light. I, I want a bit of light in here, so I'm going to cast light on my head. What that the hell is this well one? Be too much light. It's the red frogman. He's an red advanced version frogman. of the previous frogman. Uh, right, let me find where we are. Uh, you climb out of the water onto this large platform here. And walk to this entrance of this chamber. A painting this large landing depicts a regal figure rowing a reed boat. A deep crystal clear pool fills the chamber beyond. As you move forward at the bottom of the pool a red mosaic shows a woman carrying a clay vessel in her hand. A statue of red stone mirroring Mirroring the figure of the submerged mosaic stands on a platform against the room's western wall. From where Kuras stood, it can see four smaller pools lie in corner alcoves. The ceiling here is domed. And painted with different shades of blue. So the ceiling is blue, yeah. the statue is red, yeah. and at the bottom of the pool, you said it was a mosaic of? Of the lady that is depicted okay. on the statue. Guys, I I completed 
Legend of Zelda just fine, so I know exactly what to do in this situation. And what I'm told, nobody knows. We need to call the Nintendo help light. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how we stuck. <laughs> Man, that seems to be the case here. We need help from the outside. This point. Oh dear. Um, so the water is obviously much shallower here. If we can see the mosaic. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how how deep are we talking? A few, couple of feet, five feet. Uh, ten feet maybe. Oh, okay. You know, swimming pool kind of depth, but you can clearly see right. that they're a mosaic. It's you know, it's twenty twenty feet long, depicting the uh, the figure in red. I painstakingly drew all the little red dots and then covered it up with some water. <laughs> Um, okay, we need to drain this pond, and then we'll decide what to do. Definitely. Uh, Why don't you roll a perception check? I was about to ask if this statue has any kind of specific thing on it. The redstone statue depicts an elven woman in classic Osirian garb. It wears a gold pectoral necklace adorned with beads of jade and lapis. Lapis Lazuli, and the statue's right hand grips a, a Kepresh, a traditional Osirian war crown made of gold, jade, and ivory, with a jade crocodile head adorning the crown in the place of the traditional hooded cobra. It does have cartouche that has been carved into the statue. The name Nela. Roll me a knowledge history or a knowledge nobility. Looking back to the research that neither of you did in mm -hmm. Tefu, um, <coughs> you would have known that uh, Nela is the adopted sister of Queen Neferuset. That's weird. Mm. Why does it make a statue? Okay, I will still keeping an eye out for uh, traps. Um, what are in those pools uh, here, there, and little bit over? Looking in these small pools off to the side, you can see that there is a wrapped corpse that lie that lays in the bottom of this. It's wrapped tightly in a linen, but you can see that there is the traditional shape. Uh, these pools at the side here are six feet deep. Hmm. Uh, do the bodies emit any kind of magical aura through the magic? There looks to be some magical preservation involved, okay. but nothing else. Okay. So, four bodies and a statue. Why in the water, though? Why would you... I'm gonna hop in and look at the mosaic a bit more closely. Okay. It's a mosaic. Is there any indentations or objects aside from the tiles? Or is it just... How does it appear to me? Perception check. 
Um, 48. Looking this over, you don't get the impression that there is anything different. None of the... Uh, they're all coloured tiles, they're all in perfect position, as you expect. None of them appear to be anything other than small tiles cemented into the bottom of a swim pool. Okay. While I'm down there, I'll um, detect magic on it, just to double check if there's nothing more than it seems. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute. Hone is dead. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, but I, I don't expect uh, Loka to remember my character's name, so it's fine. Okay. Um, it was one of the Ghostbusters, how can you think? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I yeah, have a... yeah, that is right. <laughs> uh, orc, you've missed a story there. Uh, yeah, thank you, Jack. At least someone remembers. Okay, uh, you said that this statue had some jewelry on it, some kind of cone and a cartouche. Was it also? Uh, um... There is a um, a war crown and mm -hmm. a, a pectoral necklace. So the necklace is a golden pectoral necklace adorned with beads of jade and lapis lazuli. And the statue's hand grips a kepresh, K-H-E-P-R-E-S-H, a traditional Osiriani war crown made from gold, jade, ivory. And obviously there is a jade crocodile head adorning the crown in the place where a traditional Osiriani on a, uh, yeah, where the cobra would be on a traditional uh, Osiriani uh, war crown. Okay. I would like to examine the war crown. Okay. I'd, I'd like to try to remove the war crown from a distance. Uh, did you even... <laughs> you even cast Mage Hand? Or you uh, I, can, I don't know if I need to cast Mage Hand for that. I'm gonna check. Okay, the, the stone statue is around. The, it is gripping the crown in its hand. So we couldn't... If you're, ex if you're expecting to just pick it up and, and float it across the room, that's not gonna happen. So no, I, so I was hoping to like. Uh, um, how do I say this? Um, uh, you know, just like deal. wiggle it out of the grasp of the statue. Like, I'm getting the idea. How I understood it, so maybe I'm wrong, but how I understood it is that uh, uh, it's it's a statue, and they just like stuck the crown in the hand. Okay. Is it actually like completely locked and there's no way to get it out? Have you got a pencil on your uh, on your table? Uh, yeah. Okay. Pick the pencil up and grip it in your hand. Okay, it's completely gripped. That's okay. That grip. And it's a calm. The statue's yeah. right hand grips the war crown. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're not really going to be able to uh, pick it up. That's fine. That's fine. Like that. I'm using that tool. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Anything behind the statue? Uh, I don't think we might be missing from this puzzle. Small alcove. No dust whatsoever. Hmm. Jack would hear a mental voice uh, just saying what to him. Well, um, Egon told me you were the strong one in the group, so would you like to break this hand so we get the calm? Something is telling me that if I break the, the hand, something bad is gonna happen. We're gonna get the hand. And the calm. Uh, mostly the calm. Wait, you took my many thing... thing... hammer. Uh... Yeah, 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 I guess you would have... Yeah, probably would have given it to you, it's not that big of an expense. Give it back, I'll pay you 500 gold pieces or however much as well. Uh, 
150, it's really not worth much. There you go. So I start chiseling. Right, okay. Uh... <laughs> chiseling. <laughs> I have heavy hands. Okay. <laughs> Like some people are big boned, I have heavy hands. You are the worst archaeologist I've heard of. But I'm the one that gets it done. <laughs> you are the one that gets it done. Okay. Um, also, you've heard it. of me, see? I have heard of you. Finally, you got the reference. Thank you very much. Okay. You hear, as you break the fingers and release this uh, crown from its position, you um, you hear this malevolent moan begin to build, and I will require everybody to roll for initiative. Called it. No harm ever came from. Okay, maybe it did. Still. Oh yes, a mighty natural one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't rolled over a four on initiative so far. Wow. It's okay. Friday is coming. Less than above a 15. Dark days indeed. <laughs> oh, wait, should we go 18? Oh, you also rolled the natural one. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this game is rigged. Definitely. Vorn is waiting the dice on initiative so he can how, actually how, go first. How can you wear the dice? I don't know, you're the DM. You, you guys... I'll plug in, you found one. I found one. I know he's listening on your computer, so... <laughs> After always being the last guy going on Friday, he finally snapped yeah. and said, Fuck it, you guys go <laughs> last <laughs> on Wednesday. Oh, it's new combat music. Okay, let me, uh... I, I have combat music, I don't see the enemies, so I'm a bit. I do. You do? Yeah. Okay, now I see. Four. Five. What are these? As you break the fingers and release the, uh, the the crown from its grasp, you see the statues uh, begin to um, the, the misty form of this creature moves free of it, and at that time uh, the the moan begins <coughs> to start as she. Um, begins to free herself, you see that four of these creatures begin to rise up out of these um, pools around the side here. And we will begin combat with one of these creatures going first. That's unlucky. Hmm? You do understand that the highest is the guy. No, the sec the second highest is the guy. Roll the natural one. Yeah. And I then the our highest rolled the five. <laughs> now I hold the six. No, he rolled the five. Yeah, but I hold the six, which <laughs> I only have plus eight. to the king, baby. It's...
What's the wrong for? Greedy McGreedy, sir. It lashes out towards Jack. Go! With a 28 to hit. Your uh -uh. touch, AC. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Fucking costs. Uh, that will be five points of damage. That sounds really cool. And some energy drain. Okay. There it is. I was about to say something really, really bad. Uh, what kind of five damage is it? Um... Negative energy, really? Yeah. Oh, it was there, you donkey. Um, it is one negative level. Okay. That will take us to this one. She moves. Floats over into this sort of direction here, and she lets out this cacophonous sound. Uh, too much information. Take us to Shamir. Okay. Whatever it is. Um, knowledge religion, I guess. Let's see what those exactly are. Which one would you like to identify with your 24? Uh, all, they all look the same to me, so... This one, I guess. You would be able to identify this as a phantasm. Okay, I don't think we've seen those ones before. The phantom is a tentative appears in a translucent humanoid with fairly uh, discernible facial features, twisted and corrupted by evil. Its arms are long and thin with trails of wisps, blah 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 blah. You get one question with your 24. Uh, special abilities. Special abilities. Okay. Uh, once. Um, they just have one single special ability. And that is that it can possess a living creature. If it makes a okay. successful attack, it can merge with the body of a creature on the material plane. Okay. Which and I guess cool. could have actually done with Jack. <laughs> Romeo will save okay. Jack! Too late or too late, my friend. <laughs> you have ended your turn. Anyways, inspire courage, uh, move action to move and pull out my sword, and I would have done the standard action when I was there to get the form on myself. And end of turn. Touch attack. 
and getting a natural one. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, take that. Take it. This one I'll move forward towards Shamir. Flashing out. Uh, will a 27 hitch Shamir's touch AC? Uh, yes, but because of the fall, I don't think this creature is able to do anything to me. Because of what, sorry? Has that word. Yeah. So basically, I don't damage. take the negative energy damage and the energy drain, so... Okay. Maybe you will save. Mm -hmm. Into energy drain. Okay, I don't think it is. Okay. Save even on that one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know if this thing is uh, if they fall in the female's position, nope. or if I just like literally block. Is it a successful attack if I like Im I'm immune to it? You're immune to I... the damage, but immune if to it's the damage, yeah. not the yeah. attack. If, it, if the effect is on a successful attack hole, then yeah, it says making a successful attack roll. Okay. Take us to Katawe. Um, I'm gonna cast Freedom of Movement on myself, which I probably should have done a while ago. Um, and using that, I will get over there, and that's my turn. Uh, you can probably only move here because you only have like 15. You're well, no, I can move normally with freedom of movement. Not if you have reduced movement because water, of your equipment. Doesn't. Okay, as a free action, I'll use my uh, river domain thing, which gives me an extra 15 foot movement speed. At 10 foot movement speed, so I still get that. That's cool. Okay. Uh, we'll take us to Kura. Uh, okay, we've identified one of those. This one acted differently, so I'd like to know what this is, even though out of character I sort of have a good idea already. Okay. She does indeed look a little bit different, and you suspect that she is likely to be a banshee. Oh, no. Okay! Um, okay, new plan. Um, I'm going to five foot step here. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use my fraction to turn invisible again. Uh, if I remember correctly, the branch can still hear. Uh, can still sense me somehow. I don't remember if it's like blind sight or blind sense, but. Since my heart is beating, it has some way to sense me. I don't remember the detail, you can check. Um, however, I will need to know if if I apply sneak attack on there. I'm honestly not sure if I would either way. Blind if it's blind incorporeal, you don't get uh, precision on that shit. With a force attack, yes I do. With a force attack, you probably do, yeah. Which is the plan here. You won't, uh, you won't get your sneak attack. I won't, okay. That's good enough for me. Because she knows uh, that you're there. Okay. Uh, has she acted or is she still flat footed? No, she has acted. She has okay. started uh, the way. Uh, I will fully battering blast her because. Uh, yeah, my, my main question would be what the fuck is that ability? You explained the whale. And so I try to make her. Roll whatever that save is. Okay, your 23 will miss. Your 28 will hit. Dealing some damage. It, it goes in full, it's force damage. Yeah. And your 40 will hit.
Right, okay. I still have a um, swift action in there. I will quicken another battering blast, which will cost me a 7th level spell. That's me just burning the spell. And that's me actually using said spell without sneak attack. So a second one of those. Yeah, uh, quick and battering blast. Swift, yep, and that's gonna be my turn. Is she still waiting? She is not. Good enough for me! That's my turn. This is a 25 hit, uh, the touch AC of, of Katawi. It does. You take 8 points of damage, 1 negative level. And if you'd be so kind as to. Uh, Provide me with a will save. Thirty-three. It takes to Jack. Uh, I reach five foot step. Uh, I drop the hammer where I am. I five foot step. Take out the. There's a statue on there. You won't be able to five foot step. Very well. I five foot step here. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it's. Uh, you can't fly yeah. foot step into the water. Are you dropping into the water or are you flying? He has a swim speed. I have a swim speed. Okay, but you're dropping into the water. You're not standing on top of the water. It's the same thing, I guess, to attack from there. Okay. Nothing changes. Uh, I rage. Reaction mirror image. Again, minimum. And uh, I take out uh, the step, I take out the ghost touch spear and stab the thing. Uh, free action, I'll knock my magical boots. It won't let you attack Mo. What? It won't let you attack Mo. You move action you... to take out the spear, so it's not going to do yeah. anything at this point. Oh, okay, so... Okay, because I know that people 5 foot stepped and to, uh, changed weapon while doing that, but I guess I can do that. Alright, sure. No, you need... Um, quick draw to do that. Alright, sure. Thirty-four, forty-two damage. All right. That will take us. Put yourself at negative five, I guess. I don't know. Will that work? No. If you do that, you'll drop below the background. Yeah, right, uh, okay. uh, should make these directly then. <sighs> Need some water. Uh, okay, this uh, creature next to you descends to your level with a five foot float. Pick those five foot float. Against you with a 36 against your touch AC. Sure, we're all at D7. Okay, I'll break an image. Okay. Take us to her. She will move over here. Lashing out against the fox. Pretty rude. With a 35 to hit your touch AC. Bar barely hit me with my touch AC. Oh, actually, uh, no, it's only 21. Forget That will deal 40 points of damage. Okay, that's a lot. And if you can make me a will save. Uh, 
uh, what kind of effect is that? Just need to check. The important part is, is it a fear effect? That's what I'm. Ah, yeah. It is a fear Many effect. Promises. It's a mind affecting fear effect. Oh dear. Uh, so I have a plus uh, six, eight against both. Okay. And my inspire project, I'm sure you've done it. Sorry, plus, plus uh, six against both. Okay, uh, I guess I will try to step out. Uh, I will, as a swift action, by a horde of uh, meta magic. Cast uh, this spell as a swift action, and as a standard action, I will do the one thing I can do against incorporeal creature, which is uh, delete them with holy water. <laughs> uh, buffs. Where is divine power? It is here. Okay, I will use like uh, I guess the first ten javelins on this guy and the next ones on this one. What? The first ten and on what? On this one. Okay, so the first ten on this one. Okay. Yeah. And uh, because it's holy water, it deals full damage to incorporeal creatures. Six. I'm pretty sure we've had this conversation like 50 times already. Okay. Seven. And eight, it deals one extra point of nine, holy water damage on those creatures. Ten. So ten against this creature. Yes. And then the rest against this one. Yes. So. Two, three, four. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, no. All right. I used all of my actions. That will take us to this creature. And then you need one plus of the water. Okay. That will take us to that one that's dead. Guitar way. Um okay, I didn't use my swift action last turn. Can I say that I, I used it to give myself bull strength, not the like animal focus? Because that would normally be my first thing to do in any fight. So you it lasts, the thing that you do do in every fight. It lasts for ten rounds, so I don't have to like do it every that's round. Fine. Um so then I can Put use my swift action this turn to put Bane on my weapon, and I'm pretty sure it's an undead. It's a ghost, so it seems like a pretty safe bet. And I'm simply going to attack it. Attack greatest Bane. Swift attack. Oh, me? Yeah. I, there's not much I can do with it. I'm fine. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I'm dead. Um. I'm making sure that I don't have a better ID, but no, I don't. 
Uh, so I will just uh, step back and uh, I won't be using another round of invisibility. Uh, I will, however, use a Okay, battering blast. Not like I have uh, anything smart to do with it anyway. Uh, this time I don't even ask you. So let's go with that. On this gal here. Okay. Good enough for me. That takes us to Jack. Now I'll build the bolt of haste. Hit the things in front of you. Just twenty six hit. Uh, which one are you hitting against? Sorry. The one in front of me, and then okay. the twenty six will hit. Should end this combat. Um, is that the banshee or normal one that's standing? Well, I, I killed the banshee. Okay, good. Uh, what's her swim speed already? 20. 20, so I can not sure. Uh, not a charge, just a normal attack. Against an undead, we haven't had this thing. Okay. This game. She will lash out towards Jack. Oh, what are we on? Four? Yeah, you're already five. Okay, that will take us to Kitawe. Um, I will use another turn of my, um. Wait, what's it called? Current flow power as free action, move my swim speed bit, jump in, and I will be able to make it all the way over to this phantasm. And then I will make a single attack. Uh, I'll scrape the bane again. What the hell? 38. Okay. <coughs> this particular combat as well. I don't have any way to bypass its. Uh, in cool piano, I think so. It is half damage, of course. Still good enough? Yeah. Have some XP, you filthy animals. Yay, plus zero, my favorite. <laughs> Acquired yourself a war crown. Oh, because you cut its hand off. Um, is that an actual item that we need to spellcraft, or just a piece of thing we need to appraise? Just a piece of thing that you need to appraise, I think. Okay. Let uh, someone do it. Of course, the fox can appraise stuff. How do you think he lives his life? Except by stealing stuff. Um, you... You think it's probably worth about 6,000 gold pieces. Oh, cool. Wow. Is the uh, crocodile bit <clears throat> my reference to Sobek, or is that just a coincidence? Doesn't say anything about Sobek. Okay. I just 
Tell my colleagues not to mistreat it, because it might be an, an artifact of my religion. Look at it, you, Mr. Fox, who chews everything. Okay, where do you want to go now? Okay. Actually, it's uh, it's ten to eleven. Oh yeah, good so point. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you bunch up over here before you swan dive off? And um, what we'll do then is we'll uh, we'll pause it um, and pick this up again next week as cool. we continue our exploration of this water level. Or retreat to Sothis, whatever seems best in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to be able to retreat after uh, adventuring? Retreat? No, we won't make a dungeon until the end, that's it. It's fine, I'm sure there's like a safe red spot, rest spot inside the pyramid at some point. Just oh yeah, I'm sure we'll be able to rest, I mean... I'm sure we can retreat if we need to too. Okay, just go outside. Yeah, yeah well, but if the, if we go, will the pyramid still be there when we get back? Well, that's that's what we have to wonder. Yeah, so it's stuck down there by the trenches of thing. Yeah, trenches. yeah I mean, we, we called it there with the ritual, so it has to... You called it with the ritual, but at the end of the ritual, the whole thing powered down. Well, we don't, we don't know enough about how the pyramid works to know how long it's, it's right. battled yeah. here for. Okay, well, we will pick this it up It would again. be very fun if we were to go rest outside and then the pyramid just disappears and that's the end of the AP. <laughs> you failed. Oh, that's, yeah, great. Yeah. that's a great idea, Loka. We'll rest inside but, whatever happens. I, I, mean, I, guess... I mean, can we really fail until he gets the crown that Jack has on his head? <clears throat> to an extent. Like... We, we know, if you remember, in... I think it was... At the beginning of the previous book, um, in the pyramid, uh, we knew that when when the ah there was the wall of uh, escape uh, of escaping like whatever it was called, and there was apparently a number of generals who were also with their pyramid. So if we it's spend three weeks in if we spend three weeks in there. Other towns, my, I mean, actual towns might be attacked or something like that. Yeah, but we well, well, have a towns when we are literally on the foot of the Pharaoh's Pyramid and he knows we are there and he can just call his general and they come over here to kill us. There's that too. Well, Let's... Thanks for running for That was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah no was. worries. We'll pick it up again next week and uh, see how we do. Look forward to it. All right, guys. Okay, thank, thank you, you for the session. Bye-bye.